Um, so some type of internship experience is good. Um, it's they're difficult to get um, just because a lot of what a sports psychologist does is behind closed doors and it's confidential. Um, but if there's opportunities to shadow someone um, as they're doing like say some team interventions or team talks, um, that's an opportunity. Um, I would, I, the way I structured my, my, my graduate program is I did a lot of, re lot of research on master's programs in sports psychology. Mm -hmm. And so I did that first. That's where I actually met with Dr. Thompson mm -hmm. and her husband. Um, we all came from the same program and, um, I did, I, I did that program. And then from there, I went to the counseling psych program, all at Florida state actually, um, for my doctorate. So I, I would just do a lot of research on the programs where you want to go. There's actually a directory. It's a book and it tells you about all the sports psych programs. It's called the, uh, I think it's a very basic title. It's like the directory of graduate programs in sports psychology mm -hmm. or something very similar to that. And at least lists all the programs, their emphasis. Um, so I would just really study the programs out there and see if you're interested in any of them. And Dr. Thompson actually could help you kind of with that as well. Mm -hmm. um, um, what else you could do? Just, you know, just read up on the, the field, do some, uh, get some research experience actually is helpful. You learn more about what's going on in the literature. That was helpful for me when I was in grad school. Um, but I would say those are the main things that you could do. Okay.